well, the very roots where she was involved in the auto accident when she was eight years old here in Bismarck. And she was uh, a long time recovering, like uh, four or five months recovering. And during that time, a bunch of the neighbor ladies, because there was no television to watch or anything, the neighbor ladies came around and taught her various handcrafts so she could sit and uh, pass the time. And one of the handcrafts she had was uh, a counter cross stitching. She had a family and we got older and raised kids. She didn't do any work in it for lots of years. Yeah, about 1988, our, our kids were gone. She started again. And that's basically, she really enjoyed doing the work. She enjoyed the detail. And uh, so she set about doing these. And uh, like I said, she started from the very beginning only doing them for somebody. She just didn't do them for no reason at all. She had a specific recipient. My counter cross stitch is done on by uh, so many squares per inch. And like this one is 32 squares per inch. So that's 32 by 32. Uh, you can see how fine that linen is. So each of those little squares gets a cross stitch in it. She had big, several big lighted magnifying glasses that she used to. We have a home in Arizona, and so she had one down there, and one in Bismarck, and then one for traveling when we went somewhere she could work on it. But she did other things besides that. She was an avid golfer up until the last few years, and uh, so she enjoyed golfing a lot, and she uh, we entertained quite a bit, so she, she had a lot of activities going on. How many on. different colors of thread? Oh, and... literally thousands, and they each had a name. It's, uh, there's gold comes in like 14 shades, and so yeah, there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of threads. We're stitched with love because she started out knowing who she was making it for and what it was all about. So this was one of the more difficult ones, <clears throat> uh, and she made that for our son. It's a good uh, legacy you know, that she left. Uh, Many of us go through life and at the end of our life don't have a legacy of any sort. That uh, we maybe made a lot of money or we uh, uh, lived a good life, but there's nothing left behind. I'm very proud, proud of my wife, and, and 